how are y'all? Well, it's almost bedtime, and my kid is watching some kind of god-awful Mario kid show in there. I could not wait to get out. Some kind of, like, old-timey Mario. Um, really bad. I mean, oh, Lord. I can't figure out what's more annoying, the music that goes with it, or the voices, or, oh, gosh, it's just awful. But... You know how kids are, they, I don't know, they got different senses of humor. So I decided I'd do just a black open cup pour with my favorite blues um, and white. And so that's what I'm doing. And this is um, Cobalt Blue by Master Touch. And... Then I got, um, this is, it looks like turquoise really, but it's, um, sky blue by Master's Touch. I really like that color. It's very pretty. It looks a lot like Liquitex turquoise. I mean, there's not a whole lot of difference. And, um, let's throw some white in there. Why don't we? I started not to even put any white in this time and just make it blues, but um, I decided a little white would be pretty. Oops, screwed that up. Okay, um, now let's have some Viridian by Master Touch. And my table is still sort of slanted, apparently. So I'm gonna flip this and it'll run back the other way. This is um, Ultramarine Blue. And then I have Metallic Co-op Blue by Arislop. Is that not gorgeous? I love that color. It doesn't even really look blue. It looks like blue-green, you know. It certainly doesn't look like Cobalt Blue, the Master's Touch Cobalt Blue at all. They look very different. <laughs> No, I do not have coronavirus. I just have ex smoker's cough. Um, let me put that in right there. I don't want to keep having to lift that up and until I get it braced the way it needs to be. I don't want everything running off of there either. Okay. Uh, now we'll see. I got a little black in here left. I think I'm going to scrape that off in there, too. Just the hell of it. You know how I hate to waste paint. I got it. I might as well use it. Okay. And then I think we had first cobalt blue. I don't want that running down that way and it's still mine too. These paper towels do a really bad job of what I'm trying to do. But they're better than nothing. That's awful thick, that last bit of cobalt. Okay, I'm gonna pull them all down this way. I'll probably do have more paint than I need, but that's the way I like to do it. All right. 
this is the sky blue. Now quit going down there. Why can't you be like this when a meander in the right place? Okay, I'll put some white in now. I'm just gonna move this one. I'm not gonna use all the white because I don't like too much white in one place. I'm gonna go for the radiant now. It just wants to go to that corner. It just won't mind. Dang it, and there go my cells off the corner. I'm not losing all my cells. I have to hold that thing up myself, which is what it looks like I'm going to have to do. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to just pour real fast these last little bits. After I pull that back some. Ultramarine. Look at it just going back over there. And that's not just because it's tilted that way. It's being pulled back over there like by the paint. I think. Because it doesn't have that bad a tilt. The other one's not doing that. Oh well. That's the way today has been. Nothing has, has turned out like I tried to make it turn out. You know, you have those days where it just seems like... Nothing wants to turn out the way it's supposed to. You know, it all seems to have a mind of its own, and it isn't in, um, in, uh, synchrony with yours. That's the way it's been. Dang it. All the good part just went off the table. Got a little bit of white, and I'll see what I can do to salvage this. I'm not letting any more of it get off. Not that side, anyway. I want to torch it, but um, I want to get it all on the canvas first without pouring this side off, which is the tricky thing. Oh, well, I don't know. There, that might hold it long enough for me to torch it. cool it just it just won't behave it's got maybe too much black on the table it's really slippery it's sliding around all over the place all right let's get this back corner got lots of paint on there That all will slip off. That's way too much paint, but I have to figure out what to pour off and what to keep, you know.
it's all real pretty though. I just don't, I don't ever like to pour stuff off. I get so in love with the colors. And the more you play with them, the prettier they get. But I know that will craze if I don't knock some more of it off. Right now, I'm just trying to mix it a little more and figure out where I can knock it off at. Right now, like everything I see. I get rid of something somewhere. Just liking all this so much, I don't. I don't want to um, do it of any of it. And I wanted to mix that black up a little bit, you know, because um, I don't like it to be just one big stripe down the middle. You know, that's boring. And that's the way it was. So I'm having to do the circle technique a little bit. Mix that black in. See if we pick up a little bit of it right there. Whirl it around. There. Pick up a little more. Whirl it around. It makes it a lot more interesting when you do that circle technique. If you if you have a a painting that's got something in the very middle that you don't like, or else it's got like those stripes. A lot of times with a flip cup, you'll get stripes down the middle or in between the cups, and you don't like that. That's the way to get rid of it. It's the only way I know. Um, you can um, just go around and around in a circle and pick up a little bit more paint each time you go from the sides. And then um, pretty soon um, it'll be swirled like this is now. See that black was just in one big circle and now, I mean, one big stripe and now. It's mixed all over. I just gotta pour some more off. I just gotta break down and do it. It's really unusual looking. Very different. It doesn't look like anything I've done lately. I love the blues, though. I always love the blues. They're my favorite. Blue and blue-green ocean colors. I love that viridian. Um, and that um, beautiful Arislav metallic cobalt blue. You just can't go any better than that. Um... It's not that I don't like any of this because I think it's all beautiful, but I gotta lose a little bit of this paint or else it's all gonna go to crap. I don't know how I end up with so much paint. I guess it's the same way I always end up with so much paint. I can't ever choose what colors to use and not pick too many. But I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I am gonna torch it again. That's gorgeous. I love it. Love the colors. You can't go wrong with blue and white and black.
after that white sell up. I knew it would. That white always does. You hit it with a torch and it's just going to sell up right away. Black does too. the black in. It's really pretty. That was an afterthought. I love this one. I really like it. I think it's pretty. Yeah, those cobalt blues couldn't be more different. This over here is the metallic cobalt blue and that almost purple color is the master touch cobalt blue. I mean, they just couldn't be any more different. Alright, y'all. Um, let me get y'all down. Don't I have another paper towel here somewhere? Gotta get my fingers enough to grab the phone. Ooh, I'm filthy. I got paint all over me today, and I haven't hardly painted today. I'm just messy. I just don't worry about getting paint on myself very much. I know eventually I'll take a shower. <laughs> now I'll take a shower every day. It's just um, by the time I get to that time, I'm covered head to toe. All right, guys, what do you think? All right, let's look at it up close. Really neat cells. Really interesting cells. Those deep ones that have several colors, you know. Like in there. In there. Ooh, look at that. Look at that line there. That's pretty cool. And yeah, the other blue there, it almost looks purple. It's not purple. It's uh, cobalt blue. But it does almost look purple. There it is again. Almost purple looking. Alright. Well guys, thanks for being here. Uh, I'm going to go to bed after this, I think. I'm tired. But uh, I'll be up in the morning making videos like always. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. All your likes and subscribes, I really appreciate those things. Keep them coming because we're starting to build up some. And that's what I've been waiting for is... My channel to build some i've been working really hard at it and um i know y'all are out there uh, there's a bunch of y'all that have been trying to help and i really appreciate it so please keep it up y'all enjoy yourself stay safe take care of each other good night